All right, so today we're diving deep into what you can expect from the real estate market for the rest of the year. There are some significant changes ahead. First, let's talk about mortgage rates. This year, mortgage rates have hit some of the highest levels that we've seen in quite a while, causing many potential buyers to hesitate. A lot of people sitting on the sidelines. Uh, experts like Logan Motashami from Housing Wire suggest that while rates may eventually decline, it won't be as soon or as significant as many of us have hoped. Um, we were promised a few rate reductions this year year based on the direction that inflation was going. It was going in the right direction, but uh, we might see some relief by the end of summer, but don't bake on it just yet. Uh, one of the things I was kind of hoping for it being an election year that typically, historically speaking, the incumbent would make some adjustments to kind of give the economy a boost to make them look more favorable at the polls. And based on Biden's performance, uh, pretty much universally was disappointing. That might not happen. I mean, giving the economy a little bit of a boost based on that might not be enough to offset that performance. So I was a little bummed that he did that badly, but uh, we'll see. All right. Um, just probably not what we thought it was going to be as we were being told at the beginning of the year. Inflation threw us a few unexpected curveballs. Now, inventory, that's another hot topic. We started 2024 with a slight increase in housing inventory. And we thought we we're going to be returning a little bit back to normal. And that was giving us some hope for a more balanced market. However, this growth is still not enough to meet the strong demand for from buyers. Uh, as a result, home prices are expected to remain high throughout the year. Mike Simonson from Altos Research notes that any dip in mortgage rates, that can actually trigger a surge in buying activity, leading to even fewer homes on the market and pushing prices up even further. Can you imagine how much higher are we going to go? We're at an all-time high right now. And when you look at that, do you realize that if you purchased property yesterday or anytime before then, you've made money in real estate. It always goes up. It's undefeated. Even if you purchased property at the peak in 2008, the day before the market crashed, you would have still doubled your money if you just didn't sell. Pretty remarkable, isn't it? And for investors, this means a few things. If you're looking to buy right now, be prepared for some competition out there, some potentially higher prices. It's crucial to stay informed and act quickly when opportunities arise. For those of you holding properties, the advice here is very clear. Hold on tight. Do not let go. With home prices expected to increase, your investments are likely to appreciate in value. Likely. Now they're going to appreciate in value for sure, particularly if those rates come down a little bit and we get that price surge. And if you're considering refinancing, uh, keep an eye on those rates, but don't wait too long to make a move. I mean, we don't have a crystal ball. It could go the other direction. Then you could be trapped into something. But um, if you're looking to buy, I would also say don't wait for the rates to come down because now you're going to have greater competition and those prices are going to go out in the other direction. If you can manage it and you don't over leverage yourself and don't put yourself in any uncomfortable situation, buy now while there is still some for negotiating while the market activity is a little slow. And then when rates do come down, you would have already locked in your, the lowest price you'll probably see. And then you could get the best of both worlds and get the lower rates through a refinance as well. And then uh, to wrap up the real estate market this year, it's all about strategy really. And maybe to some degree timing, if we have the ability to do that. And while the timing might not be perfect for an optimal cash flowing scenario, consider this, the big money in the market, they're not pulling back. They know you're scared, so they're taking advantage of that while uh, while you sit and kind of wait to see what happens. Names like Blackstone, Jeff Bezos, Lennar, and the Toll Brothers, they're all still buying and they're all still building. And those that are building, they're not building to put those on the market and sell. They're building to keep them themselves. And that right there could be the biggest clue as to where the market is headed than any other. All right, that's all I got. And thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Take care.